Let's talk about old school Strider today. This is the Strider AR, not to be confused with the Medford Strider uh, collaboration, design, build, whatever that Medford built recently for Strider knives. They built the AR75 or the 0.75 AR, however they called it. I'll put a link to the video I did of that Strider Medford up in the corner at the end. This is the original big brother of that one that was recently done maybe last year. The original Strider AR. This is actually from the first run of the Strider ARs. Serial number 42 that Cliff, the owner, has nicknamed The Answer. And uh, if you know, you know. That's Hitchhiker's Guide thing. So um, I personally don't know, but that's what he told me. So whatever. <laughs> this is from uh, 98, 99 is when they first released this model. And I got to say, it's pretty cool. And I like it a lot better than the current AR7.75 from Medford. Um, because I just, this feels better in the hand. And you can go watch my other video on this the AR75, and you can get my opinions on that. But this one is pretty cool. I am not a huge Strider fan, just in general, of their knives. Uh, I, I'm, we're not even going to talk about some drama around the maker. Like, that, that's not even part of my deal. I don't care. Um, but I don't like the, the look of the handles that usually get bigger down here at the end. And they just, the SNG and the SMF, they just look odd to me. And they're very comfortable in the hand, but looks is important to me. So I don't really care for Strider knives in general. This beast, I, I kind of like. So... It's five and three eighths uh, closed, nine and three eighths overall with a four inch blade. It's really thick behind the edge though, for those of you that care, at 0 0.034. So the blade steel on this, I believe is S30V. It's not marked. The owner, Cliff, doesn't know for sure, but in looking online, most of the ones I found are advertised as S30V, so... I'm just going to guess. I don't know. It's on washers. And it's it closes really well. There's no bounce. And a lot of times you'll see a knife and it'll have bounce a little bit at the end as it closes. And this is just, it's a very satisfying close. It's very similar. Kind of reminds me of the... Um, totally spacing it, the um, Winter Blade Co. magnet knife as it closes. There is no bounce. There's no play when it closes, and this one just closes solid and locks up. So I do enjoy that. It works really good in the pocket. Titanium lock side, G10 backspacer, and front side. Just a standard steel. I believe it's just a bent steel clip with an over-travel stop and really a kind of a no-nonsense just a big beefy knife. Now, one thing that's always kind of, I don't know, bothered me with Strider is while you have a four inch blade, you only have three and a quarter inch cutting edge because they have a humongous front finger choil and a nice sharpening choil. Like that's cool. The big, they're, he's really big on the, on the, oversized finger choils in the front. So you just lose a lot of blade length, uh, usable blade length. Had this been just, you know, maybe kind of a smaller choil just to wrap your finger around, you could have gotten another half inch of blade. So I I don't know. I, I would like your, your comments on that of... Yeah, it's a four inch blade, but three quarters of it is you is not usable. So should they just made a three 
and three quarter inch blade or a three and a quarter inch blade. I mean, like, I don't know. Are we just playing to the numbers? Like, yes, it's a four inch blade. I know you can't, can't use it all, but got a four inch blade. I don't know. I'm torn by that because not that you need four inches of cutting edge for most tasks, but are we making it overly large and to what point? So is, is there really a reason for this? Is that really a usable, a, a good use of space, I guess is where I'm trying to get to. Or should the blade have just been a shorter blade to begin with and an overall smaller knife? I don't know. I'd love to hear your guys' take on that. Um, do a couple of quick size comparisons. In looking around online, there's some of these I found for anywhere is six to $1,200 of the Strider AR, depending on condition, depending on color. Um, not so much material. I think you, you get what you get. Double A and D cell batteries. Um, I don't know. I like this one. It is a beast. And it works great in the pocket. It weighs in at 7.4 ounces, so it is on the heavier side. But anything under in that 7 to 8 range for me personally is very easy to carry. When you get to the 10 plus range, that's when it becomes more of a mm, more of a thing in my pocket. Whereas, you know, 7 8 ounces is fine. 5 ounces is great. 2 ounces like I'm good under that 7 8 ounce mark, so I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. I would love to hear your opinions. And please go check out the Medford 0.75 AR in the corner.